Hello Capricorn, this is Christelle Martinet and I'm here with another monthly reading for you for the month of September. September is the month where we have two eclipses. Starts on first uh, the 1st of September which is the new moon, a, a solar eclipse, and the 16th, if I'm not mistaken, I always make a mistake, 16th or 18th is the um, a full moon uh, lunar eclipse. Now, but I'm going to start this time with um, the, ah, as you can see, one is, sit, is standing straight up. It just fell on the side here. How interesting is that? Okay, now, um, there's a mixed bag here with the runes. The runes are, are telling me that you're sort of, you know, you're a public person. You are doing and, and interacting with people, yes. But for the most part, I see that you, you're you not exchanging many words with people or outside of your um, very close circle of, of friends. And... Also, it's, it's a time, October, uh, September, when you're not really casting your net very wide. When I say not casting your net, meaning um, you're not looking into the far future. You're sort of looking very close to your feet. You know, you're looking down. And it seems that you're in a place, you're in a place where you fairly enjoy uh, yourself you like it you're sniffing i see you sniffing around thinking where can i go what can i do you know and and of course this entails uh, monetary uh, concerns your financial concerns um capricorn and what i'm seeing is this this literally this is um a watts merck's david just stood on on its head and it's right next to Anzu Merkstave, Thurisat's Merkstave, and um, also Pedro Merkstave. And these all are telling me a, a particular story. You're seeming to put things under uh, under the carpet. You know, if something just doesn't speak to you, if something doesn't make you smile, if something isn't um, lightening up your days, you don't want to go there. You just will not have it you're not going to have a negative day. You don't want to have any negativity in your life. It seems that you're, you, you're planning for something big, but it doesn't matter if it's big or small. In your mind, your plans have to be big, but you're taking things one step at a time. And it's very, very interesting to see. Um, Almost as if you're studying, you know, this Ansus Merkstave is telling me, instead of communicating more, it's you taking it in. You're bringing things into yourself. Now, um, as far as your, um, well, here, most of you, and I, you know, see everyone with a roof over their head, and that is not an issue. If either uh, you are at your own house, renting a house, you have a house of your own, you're staying with relatives, but I see people who are taken care of. There is an umbrella over you, all right? But there's, um, you're taking care of the idea uh, this month of September. You're dreaming big in terms of a house. You want to expand. It's, it's um, a moment of dreaming big. And you're convincing yourself that these big dreams, these high hopes, but they're not really hopes because you're really visualizing abundance, will be coming to you. And this is the way you're coaching and couching it. You're, you're actually visualizing it in terms of a house with everything you could possibly want in it. It's a, a, a month of, say, dreams, we could say, where they're not that dreamlike, they're realistic in your mind, and you're really visualizing your dream house, your castle, your abode, your garden. I see the trees in the garden, and big, strong trees. You know, we have big oak trees, and they're 
uh, protective trees. Here, off to the side, almost as if it were to the on the back burner, we have a relationship. And it seems to be on your mind all the time. Um, not outwardly. You don't think about it outwardly. You just go about your business. But it's as if on the back burner, you have another dream. There's a dream about a relationship. Of course, uh, not everyone is single and there are people who are coupled, but there still are dreams concerning that couple. There are, are, are abundant dreams concerning that couple, dreams of happiness, the happiness that you don't have now, all right? And um, it's very nice to see the idea of really dreaming big. And this is what's going on for you during the month of September, Capricorn. I'm going to take here the, um, the New Orleans Voodoo Tarot and place a few in the different conversations of the runes here and uh, see what they have to add. These were pre-shuffled, but I like to give them a go here. Okay, now, it's as if you have, um, you have company when you're dreaming. Your dreaming ha has people in, in, the dreams are populated. And, um, and it's not only um, a flight of fantasy, these dreams. They're really very, very realistic to you. And I have here the magic mirror. We've seen this several times, the magic mirror in uh, the voodoo tarot. And the magic mirror is a card of tension, a tension uh, where the invisible world and the visible world meets uh, in a form of tension right on the mirror. And it's um, right over the notion of the house. You're looking out and you're dreaming big, but you're looking in that mirror. And you're actually convincing yourself that you are there. It's a very intense month of manifesting for you, the month of September. You're going to work magic this month, Capricorn. You're going to do your magic. You will not be one to sit by the phone waiting for that person to call. This is not you, the month of September. You're not going to be the wallflower sitting in the corner. This is not you, Capricorn. The month of September, even if you are alone or partnered but feeling alone, your dreams and your actual experiences, because thoughts are experiences, your thoughts and your experiences are going to be off the charts. Now, um, when I said there are a lot of people, yes, there are, but when I, I didn't only mean people, they're going to be uh, plants, animals, you're way open and you're very sensitive this month to uh, wildlife, to nature, to your environment. Even if you live, say, in a condominium where there are, you know, tennis courts and everything seems as if it were plastic, okay? Uh, no, no original landscaping, but everything is smooth. There is nonetheless the feeling that you have that you need to walk barefoot in the grass. You need to walk barefoot in the grass. And um, it's interesting to see that there's also um, this month of September for you, Capricorn, is going to bring you a um, an exceptional bout of creativity. It's a very creative month. It's a month where your thoughts, like I said, it's off they're off the charts. But the the benefit that they that you will reap from these thoughts and from the dreaming big dreams is going to be phenomenal for you further down the line. And you remember these words that I'm saying to you now. Um, and it's quite interesting to see this um, Awats um, rune 
uh, on its on its head actually and we have a Radha nine masa card that's really telling you to turn on your head and it is the head that works the most magic this month it's the conception as far as your mind can dream that's as far as you will will grow will be I have here the uh, silver witchcraft tarot but I'm going to uh, lay out a few cards here I'm going to pull We have a couple of eights here, and something's going to happen. All right, as I said, the month of September is going to be dreaming big. All right, right around after these um, these um, uh, eclipses is when things are going to start snowballing very fast, very, very, very fast, very, very, very fast, very fast. She doesn't see what is she seeing? What is she seeing? The eight of wands it's a little dark here i'm going to have to work with the lighting and this eight of wands is going to let me see if i can pull the these lights right up here yeah yes 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 a little better the eight of wands and if things will be moving so such at a fast pace towards the third week the fourth week of the month i feel um a, a very passionate energy here there's a strong male energy here a strong male, a strong male energy that accompanies you when you look hard and long at yourself. There's the male side to you that is for the women, and the male side to all of us that is going to be very prominent this month. I'm not saying, uh, you know, there's a feminine exterior if you're a woman, and a male exterior if you're a man. But the male side to both genders is going to be very prominent in taking a hard look at what you want. You really are going to work magic this month. Six of Pentacles, this is, um, you're going to start seeing the first signs of money coming your way that you didn't expect. It will be a trickle down effect. It will be trickling down the money. Um, and what else is uh, very interesting is that you're going to see like these lanterns, these uh, these little lanterns. It's as if you carry them around. It's as if you carry them around wherever you go. And this helps you focus. So you see, you're, you're walking down the street and, you know, uh, breakfast at Tiffany's, looking at the, uh, looking at the shop windows. And what you see is this your concentration is always following you take a look yes nice but you're not interested you're focused very 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 focused very interesting spread extremely interesting spread i'm going to take the vita vita sibila an interesting month for you an interesting month i'm going to go start first here <clears throat> at this speed towards the end of the month the fourth week and the snowballing speed Ah, yeah, now we're getting some interesting things. We have some men in, um, or quarters, quarters, quarters. <laughs> uh, courtesans for women, but courtier. Um, there's, there are people who are, going, there's, there are two people vying for you in this deck here. Uh, this is the Gran Signore, a male and the male enemy. These are two contenders for the ladies, but, and, and contending for you, in a place that you are now calling your home also for the males these are two males battling it out on the workplace of you capricorn and it's all going to play out the last week in uh, september for you i'm going to take a look here at the um the um create the creative moment of the month the creative moment of the month. Ah, okay. It's going to, all right, we have here the uh, Donna di Servizio, the housemaid. We have the lies, the cat, um, um, uh, falsita, and 
the amore and what you're you're going to be able to see right through certain smoke screens that are going to be placed your way it's as if the month of september you start meeting people your circle your social circle expands and you start meeting people if you haven't already because i feel that this is very very close to you at, um, at the time um, this is this 27th when these will be published i believe but it's the it's it's around you there are people coming and approaching you you're seeing through their smoke screens you're very very picky you're very very discerning in with the company you keep you're very uh, jealous of your time you don't want to spend it with anyone and it's quite interesting to see I'm going to take a look at these lantern like movements that you have and what's that all about well there's a matter of concern uh, uh, with regards to the family here's the consoling surprise consolante sorpresa uh, donna maritata the married woman women, woman with child and uh, children and the uh, pensiero thought what i'm seeing here is there are some concerns um regarding the family all right this is and in a positive sense you are concerned but the um, truth of the matter is, is that you have nothing to worry about at all. And concentrate, the cards are telling you, on your mirror, that mirror. Let's see the reflection and the uh, manifesting. Here you go. Um, what I'm seeing is here, we've got the uh, domestico, the male servant, and uh, the house domestic. We have the belvedere, yeah, the oh, looking out future bright future and um these grazie which is the disaster now it's interesting because it's it's sort of like a ricochet of effect here she has a backward monocle so she's seeing ref a reflection of a disastrous situation in her eye so she's looking at herself and her situation in the recent past and what she's gone through in this picture i'm saying she because the card is a woman but it may applies to both genders and in the comfort of your own home. And when I say home, it's an, an um, allegorical, it's a metaphorical home, in your heart chakra, okay? This is something to do with, we can say it's about taking stock, it's not. This is a hard look. You are not um, mincing words with yourself, you're not uh, wasting time, you're taking a hard look at the way things are in you, in your heart, in your soul. You're really bearing your soul to you. Good for you, Capricorn. And it's going to be a very abundant future after this month of taking a hard look. Namaste, Capricorn friends. It was a pleasure to read with you. Welcome all new subscriber Capricorns. And until we read together again, bye-bye.